Let's go back out. Right, workout done. <laughs> uh, just did like a little quick leg workout and then went on the treadmill and did a bit of a run i keep saying run it's a more of a light jog but still <laughs> so yeah that's done it's currently like quarter to 12 so i'm kind of getting into these like morning workouts or like daytime workout the only thing is obviously i can only film like a couple of clips in there because it is so busy that like you don't want to get in someone's way you don't want to feel like you don't want people to feel like oh i'm being filmed like do you know what i mean so yeah i didn't get much but I need to run to B&Q quickly before, before I go home because I've got this huge long thing in, my, in the back seat where it's basically the, like, do you know the plastic bit that goes on the bottom of a shower screen, like between the shower screen and the bath? That's like gotten really manky. <laughs> so I wanted to get a new one. Um, and also it doesn't like quite, it's too small. So like it doesn't really stop the shower screen from like moving um and i tried to buy that one and i bought the wrong type so luckily i kept the receipt oh so i don't rip it in the meantime um so i'm gonna go to b and q and just return this um and see if i can get another one because i honestly i don't really know what's what's going on with the showers like the gap like i can't get it right it's just never long enough and i can't seem to find anywhere that does shower screen plastic bits which are like longer than like that so i need one that's like proper long and then maybe i can trim it i don't know but anyway i'm gonna head to b&q oh my legs are shaky oh i hate driving after a leg day <laughs> my legs are just going like when i've just pushed the clutch down right let's go to b&q get this thing sorted right i've done the return and i've just come to the takeaway kitchen bit um because i think i'm gonna get a cupboard door for what used to be Billy's literary entrance because um, I've actually blocked off his like little cat flap that was there um, and he's been absolutely fine just using the one litter tray upstairs. So I think it's time to replace the door and finally make use of that cupboard. <laughs> so I'm just, like I say, in the takeaway kitchens section, I'm just gonna have a look at the doors and see what kind of price we're looking at, first of all. Um, it's kind of, Oh no, they do have samples. I was going to say, because it's all just like cardboard boxes. So I was like, how do you know what they look like? But they do have um, little things on. So yeah, I'm going to have a little look around, see what I can find. And yeah, might be fitting a kitchen door this afternoon. Right, I'm back now. So I've got the cupboard door. Um, it's got a film on, but it is just white, like the one that's there already. Um, so this is the current situation. We've got Billy's door. Obviously, it's been boarded up by one of Emmanuel's Easter egg boxes. I'm gonna empty this out, maybe it's like after I've fitted the door, just because there's a couple of things that I'm not sure on. I'm hoping that I can just take the old one off its hinges and then just use the same thing to like secure the new one. However, the new door is a lot thicker than the old door, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So um, I'm gonna see if I can secure the door on first. If it like measures up, like if it fits and everything like that, then I will look at um, emptying the cupboard and kind of sorting it out. But for now I just need to grab a screwdriver. And yeah, the only other thing as well with it being thicker is the door handle that I've put on, like the handle that's on this one, is just screwed like through. Whereas I'm not sure it would screw through this one, so. Again, trial and error. If we don't try, we won't find out. So, yeah, let's give this a go. I'm 
So this is the cupboard door on now. Obviously I've sorted this out and filled this. We've obviously got Billy's food in the back there. I've managed to put some other bits in there. But basically everything that was either on top of there or on top of here is now in here. So it just looks a lot better, a lot tidier. And yeah, I'm happy with that. To be honest, I mean, we don't really need a door handle on here because it's not like difficult to open. So yeah, new door, new cupboard, new opportunities. <laughs> right, let's have a little chat. It is another day now. I'm so bad at filming these videos all in one go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is another day. I feel like we need to have a little bit of a chat about what is probably in the title of this video and a few of you will be a little bit disappointed <laughs> in this news. However, me and my mum and dad have been discussing the allotment and we have decided to not carry on with it um, for a few reasons. But the main one is that we just don't have time for it, like collectively between us. I obviously have this new job and I do YouTube as well, which takes like collectively a lot of time. So I don't really have much time for the allotment anymore. My parents are also gonna be traveling a lot this year, which means that they are also a bit busy and um, won't be able to keep on the upkeep of the allotment. I did get the allotment in 2020, so this would have been our fourth year in doing it. When we got it, if you guys have been here from the beginning of like the allotment phase, you guys will probably know that when we got the allotment, it was in an absolute state. Uh, we've done a lot of work on the allotment and made it into quite a nice plot. We have got some um, really nice vegetables and stuff from it. Can you hear Billy? He's just shouting. <laughs> Yeah, it's now a really nice plot and hopefully whoever takes over it will have a nice easy transition to just like going straight into growing their stuff because we've left all the tarp and stuff on. Um, so hopefully the weeds won't be like too much for them when they get there. Whereas when I got there, my goodness, the weeds were like taller than the house. So yeah, another, another reason why we kind of have been debating whether we should keep the allotment is because we one of the sides of the plot is has council owned trees on it um which we are not technically allowed to cut down they are supposed to come and keep them i think it's eight foot tall but since we've got the plot they have not they've not done that um which means that our basically one side of our plot is in the shade most of the time which means that like that side of the plot really wasn't growing to its full potential and we were losing quite a lot of space in that sense so it didn't so we kind of trimmed it down kind of to bring it back so that it was back on the other side because the trees were like overhanging onto our side because it's like tree bush kind of thing um so we kind of trimmed it back so that it was like level with our fence but in terms of the height, it just wasn't, um, it was just ridiculously tall. And after numerous, numerous requests for the council to trim them down to what they should be so that we can get a bit of sunlight, they just haven't done it. So we've lost like half the plot there. Um, and yeah, I think just between us, it just wasn't, it was more of, it was becoming more of a burden than it was an enjoyment, which I think is a shame. Um, because we were growing some stuff and then it just wasn't like growing properly or you know the amount of times I tried to grow carrots and they just weren't growing properly so yeah we have decided to give up the plot this year and um, we're just busy clearing out all of our stuff we are leaving quite a bit of stuff for the next people stuff that we don't really want like we're taking things like the wheelbarrow spades and like just stuff that we might need around our own gardens and things but we are also leaving some good bits for somebody else to take over um and hopefully they appreciate that so we do have until the end of the month um which is today actually to get rid of everything so we are gonna get everything out and go and hand the keys back which is a bit sad um but one thing i would say about the allotment is like I say, I got it in 2020. Was it 2020 or 21? I feel like it might have been 2020. I can't remember. I can't remember. But that allotment when I first got it in that first year really, really helped me with my mental health. It was a time when I was in a really quite a dark place, although I didn't really talk about it too much on my channel. 
I wasn't doing well at all mentally and it was somewhere that I could just go and escape and I, I was just like even just doing some weeding or something it would just kept me busy and got me a bit out of the house and when I was doing CBT with my counsellor at the time you know one of the big things for that and my anxiety was like getting out the house and that was kind of a almost like a safe space that I felt like I'd go to because I wasn't like out in public but I was out the house because I had my own plot I could just do my own thing and I was out the house so it did really really help me with my mental health at the time um but now my mental health is a lot lot better um due to numerous things not just the allotment but but yeah it's it's now time to hand the keys over to somebody who can really put the time and effort into it and get the most out of it. So yeah, I need to check whether we need to get all the rest of the stuff out today. Let me ring my mum. We might be getting the stuff out today. Okay, it turns out that we do need to get the keys back today. So um, to avoid having to pay for another year's worth of rent on it, um, I'm just gonna nip to my mum and dad's house and get their key because you need to return your keys in order to get the deposit back. Um, so apparently everything is out of the allotment now. Um, there's nothing else to take. So I'll just go and grab the key from my parents' house and then I'll just show you kind of what the plot's looking like. Right, so I've just come down. It is very sunny today. So if I'm squinting, that's why. But this is the allotment. As you can see, everything's like covered up um the only thing we've got really like growing is some winter onions which i mean i don't know but everything else is covered up we've got the raspberry cage there there's a couple of leeks left over <laughs> um yeah this is it but what i was saying is that these are the trees that are, we're talking about um which should be chopped down to about like there where that bush is but as you can see they're like towering over which means i mean although it's okay now because it's like midday these plots on this side are in the shade for most of the rest of the day um which means that these plots are pretty much useless um so we've only been really been able to utilize these ones properly uh so yeah but trees unfortunately <laughs> when they're in full bloom in the summer nightmare um and then obviously we've got the greenhouse which we've cleared out so that's all right we've got a little strawberry cage there there's plenty here for people to um hang on let me just this is it show you in here so in here we have cleared out most stuff um but we have left a couple of bits so we've got like a little stool there um rake a spade just like bits and bobs which like we didn't need but we thought people might find quite useful so like a million and one pots here um we've got loads of like seed trays we installed this last year was it last year i can't remember um so they've got some water in here for the greenhouse um and yeah that's looking pretty full but yeah it's sad to see it go we are obviously quite sad to see it go but like i say we just do not have the time for it anymore um to be able to really utilize it and i think if it was like a half plot then maybe we'd probably keep it but because it's a full plot like it's just so much upkeep and like i say my parents are traveling a lot this year i have my job um whereas obviously when i took this on i was only doing youtube so I had a lot of time for it but yeah it's time to say goodbye <laughs> back and i've got the deposit back um apparently someone has nabbed it up straight away and it's two girls so yeah you can actually see my plot from the gate so i might like have a little spy every so often see how they're doing with it <laughs> um but yeah so that's the end of the allotment kind of sad but you know it needed to be done so yeah 
anyway i'm gonna head back off home but i think i'm just gonna end this vlog here anyway thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and i will see you in the next one bye guys Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you